Greetings everyone. Welcome back to part two of the box opening. Uh, <clears throat> I'll open these up randomly and the next set of nine cars. Custom Firebird in US Blue. Nice grill. You know what I like about this is the taillight paint still pretty much intact. Champagne interior. Always check your pins nice and tight. Glass is good. Decent reds on this one, guys. Custom Firebird. Put him right there. <clears throat> Next up is going to be... This looks like a charger. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. In beautiful gold. Masterpiece here, guys. Look at that taillight package. Beautiful gold. Look at the shine on that Spectra flame. No hood neck. The hood is still a little stiff, meaning not a lot of play time, at least in my experience. When the hood stands up like that, you know, it seems to me that uh, it looks like it's been not, uh, not a lot of track time. The hood is a little, just a tick darker than the rest of the car, just a tick. But boy, that's a nice shine of gold, isn't it, for this uh, custom Dodge Charger. 1969 Beauty. Two customs for you, right out of the bat. Let's see what else. What else lurks in the bubble wrap? You're seeing them and I'm seeing them. So if I miss something, a description or whatever, it isn't that I'm deliberately trying to do anything. It just I look at it quickly and share with you. Aqua Custom Fleet Side. Holy smokes. I don't get a lot of customs. Look at that taillight package, guys. This is very hard to find clean. Very hard to find clean because of the wear. Taillights are still there. Look at, man. Of course, it's a U.S., so you're going to have the ribs on the inside of the uh, of the hatch. And uh, Aqua's a different, more difficult car uh, color to get your hands on. Take a look at those bananas, guys. All mediums. That's a nice custom right there. Three customs in a row. What are the chances? <laughs> uh, here's a, something a little bit light. I wonder if this is a um, this is a open wheel. You can tell by the weight. You can tell when I lift these things up. Here's an Aqua. I'll clean them up a little bit. Lotus turbine in Agua. What are you? Ooh, a Cougar. Original 16 in green. Beautiful. Look at the shine on that. Spectacular. Wow, it's got that kind of a gunmetal, shiny base. Tail light package. Yes, indeed. Beautiful custom, guys. Look at that. Consistent color. Spectrifle. Almost got attributes of um, aqua to it. Sort of a grok was. I'm looking at it here live. You may see it green, and it is green, of course, but it is, as you tip it in the light a certain way, sometimes you'll see um, a little bit like shades of aqua. Call these grokwa. That's going to be green, of course. Very, very nice. Look at that. Three custom, or four customs and an open wheel. What art thou here? Oh, here's a uh, original 16 as well. A python. In blue. Full roof. That means an early run. Full roof. The paint comes down on the B pillar. The paint comes down on the B pillar, which indicates a full roof. Shine and gunmetal on the base. You look at a taillight package there. Beautiful. A little darker engine. Sometimes they get tarnished, just the way it is. Nothing you can do about that. Not play wear, it's just age. What's next? Ooh, brown. No, copper. Copper. Looks like a barracuda. Is there a fish in there? 
sure enough. Look how dark this one is, guys. A Barracuda in dark copper. Wow, we're talking very dark. Look at that. And the accent there on the B pillar. <laughs> Sweet. Gotta have this in your collection. Look at the reds. Very clean. Base is a banger. Tail light package missing. Typical with Hong Kong. Yeah, very, very nice. That's a that's a beautiful dark copper. You're looking for a you're chasing after copper when you want to get something a little bit off the reservation. Right there. There's a beaut. What's next? Another custom. Hey, hey, we got a theme song here. Ooh, it's an early run too. Early run Hong Kong with the painted tail. Looks like a Miss Punch right there or Miss uh, Spun. Miss Spun when it was spinning the post. Of course, they did not paint the tops of the pipes there, the injectors with the early runs. Paint those gray. Beautiful. Yeah, it's got a little scuffy in the front there, but you know, if you're looking for an early runner, it's like some gunk on the tire there. A little stiff on the back there. Probably for display purposes only. That's what we're going to do on this one. Yeah, but you want the early, the early tail Early tail paint right there. Custom fleet side. And then last but not least, a Volkswagen in blue. Custom Volkswagen. It looks like Hong Kong. Sure enough. Ooh, clean. Notice the tail of uh, the, the lights is part of the casting. You'll see no rivet on the front, only on the back, because it was slipped in. Sort of like a custom... Uh, like a classic nomad, sort of like that idea where the casting base is actually the the, uh, the lights. Yep, white interior. Beautiful shade of blue. She be sweet. Yeah. That's a nice little humdinger right there. Put him in the front. Let's take the camera off. Get close and personal to the contents of this particular box opening. There they are, Ranger and Rangerettes, you Redline collectors, you. Here is the tally, if you will, for this quick box opening. I'll, I have one more box opening for you. It'll be part three. Do like, subscribe, and share. And join us for our, our auctions most every Tuesday, starting at 6 p.m. Central on a Facebook site called Studio-Redline. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.